Welcome to Sean Can't Cook, But John Can. Sean and I have been actors for many years, but I assure you, this is no act. He really can't cook. I'm going to teach Sean and you at home how to feel more comfortable in the kitchen, preparing tasty recipes that even the most novice of cooks can create. I will show you step by step how to construct each dish so that when your friends come over, they'll ask, how'd you learn how to make that? If you already know how to cook, I hope you'll find a few recipes to add to your repertoire. Let's see what's on today's menu. Hello and welcome to Season 10, Episode 2 of Sean Can't Cook, But John Can. I really can't. He can't. Back to that one, huh? Okay. He's getting better, though. This is Season 10, after all. You've got to be a little <laughs> I bit better. I might be backsliding. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in front of you is a lot of ingredients. Wow. Um, but it's not complicated. It's tedious? I don't want to say tedious. It's Invo well, involved. It's involved. And it's well worth the effort, though. Uh, we had to recently do this for an event, and this is S'mores Brownies. It's got graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate, just like the s'mores you make over a campfire. So we came up with this s'mores brownie recipe, so time for some dessert. So let's get a little closer look at these ingredients, and we'll show you how to put them together. The ingredients for the s'mores brownies are in four sections. The first section is the crust. You will need seven tablespoons of melted cooled butter, one and a quarter cups of finely ground graham cracker crumbs, an eight by eight or nine by nine inch square pan, a measuring cup or some glass to tamper it down, and a cooling rack. The brownie component consists of three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of canola oil, two ounces of bitter chocolate. This is 92% cacao. These three ingredients are going to get melted together. You will also need one-third of a cup of graham cracker crumbs. This is three-fourths of a cup plus two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one-half cup of all-purpose flour, one-half teaspoon each of salt and baking powder, not soda, baking powder, one half cup of mini marshmallows, two large eggs, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The icing is one and a half tablespoons of vegetable shortening, one and a half ounces of the same bittersweet chocolate. This is one cup of sifted powdered sugar. I've already sifted it. To that we're going to add a pinch of salt and another half teaspoon of vanilla in that. The topping is going to be one and three-fourths cups of mini marshmallows and some graham cracker crumbs. We're not going to use all of these three to four tablespoons depending on your preference. And other than that we just need a bowl with a spatula and a spoon to mix the brownies. That's it. Let's get started. Step one, the graham cracker crust. I love graham cracker crust. So, so simple. It's the one and a quarter cups of graham crackers. Mm -hmm. And, oops, this cooled down a little bit. Oops, making a mess here. So, want to combine this together. So what happens after this? With the brownie mixture, or do you mean with yeah, the crust? Like when that goes in, so what happens? Oh, we're going to combine this and pat it into the bottom of the pan. Okay. So, I can so do that, I yeah, guess. go ahead, you do does that. It, I'm going to clean up the mess. How, up. how combined does it look? Very. Oh. Okay. Very combined. Right. It's usually a little easier. This got solidified. We were sitting here filming things, um, but it'll be fine. Um, and actually, your hands are the best tools. Oh, so should I be using that? Yeah, I mean, you could use that for a little while, and then, okay. you know, once it gets... You Smells can, good. You can. I love graham cracker crust. So we're going to bake this at 350 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes. You want to check to make sure it's golden brown, firmed up a little bit, but not fully cooked, because you're going to put the brownies on top and cook it some more. So, 
looking, that's good. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I would use your hands now. That looks pretty good. Let me just check with my hands and clean hands. Everybody has clean hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you put this in the bottom mm -hmm. and we could just eat that. Oh my gosh! I could. Oh wow! It does smell good. You weren't kidding. No, it smells oh delicious. My gosh, it's not. So you want to even it out a little bit, and then you just want to sort of start patting it down. But I want you to, to do this because you're the the learny. Oh boy. The trainee. The learny. So. Push firmly. You want to get these compact. There you go. And you want to try and make it as even as possible. And the edges are going to fight you. I'll tell you that right now because it's crumbs. So they don't want to fully stay together. So that looks pretty good for now. So what we're going to do is take this. I'm okay. just using a measuring cup. Mm -hmm. And you want to just sort of press. And it's going to make these ring marks, and that's okay. Okay. It's all going to get covered up. And you just want to go around. No one's going to see the ring marks. No, and we're going to actually <laughs> go back with our hands a little bit. So you finish that. Okay. Off and just press. Like how hard? Can you feel it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just compacting it down a little bit more. I just find it's a little bit better than just using your hands. It's a good trick. Yeah. And get the middle part also. You just. <laughs> I think he's having too much fun making the rings with the cup. Am I right? It's fun. I, I think I know you well enough to know that. I'm stepping on you. I'm sorry. Uh, so that looks good. So then I just go back and just make sure that it's compacted. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the edges. There might be a little lip on the edge. That's okay. Okay. And this feels good. Yeah, it's compacted. Good. And I just go around again with my hand once. You want to tip it toward the camera? To make sure. I sure am going to do that. A little look there. So there you go. Yeah. So that's that. It's about a quarter of an inch, mm -hmm. three eighths of an inch uh, thick. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Can you see that it's golden brown? I can see the circles too. That yeah, I made. that's right. They're gonna go away though. Oh. So it's you could feel like it's still a little soft, but it's it's cooked. It's golden brown. So we're gonna put this on a cooling rack. I'm gonna go behind you okay. for about ten minutes. This is a little trick that I've been doing. The heat that's coming off this oven is enough to melt the chocolate with the butter and the canola oil. Oh, wow. So it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. I didn't use any excess heat, so that's good for the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, it also keeps the chocolate from burning. You could do this over low heat if this doesn't work for you, but I just put it back to the edge there, and as you can see, it melted. So we're going to go right over here, and we're going to add the granulated sugar. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Oops, everything's done. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm not going to measure it. It might be a little more, and that's okay because I love vanilla. Vanilla and chocolate go very well together. So while the crust is cooling, mm -hmm. we're going to mix this together, and we're going to let this cool for about 10 minutes also. It's been about 10 minutes. The chocolate mixture is cooling. Mm -hmm. This is cooling down. It's still a little warm, so be careful on the bottom. It's hot. Uh, that's why I have it on a cooling rack. So we're going to mix up the brownies, put that on top, bake it at the same 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. We're going to check it with a toothpick. When you check with a toothpick, chocolate, um, what's the one I'm trying to say? It can be a little bit of moist crumbs, but you don't want to see raw dough batter. So uh, that's all I want to add that because I might forget I don't want to get to the stove. So. Uh, this is cool. So you're going to stir. I'm going to add one egg at a time if I can. Come on. There we go. Should I break that egg up? Yeah. Break that up. Stir that up. This is just break up. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Stir it together. Blend it well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once that's blended together, I don't know if you can tilt that up and show Oh, them. sure. There you go. So it's blend beautiful. It until you see no more yellow. Mm -hmm. And scraping the bottom, making sure all the chocolate's getting mixed. Scrape the floor. You're being very gentle with that. Gotta get in there. Scrape the floor. It's gentle with I'm cooking. the gentle cook. So as you're doing that, I'm gonna add okay. the other egg. All right. Egg. Okay. There you go. Push on the gentle. Yes, exactly. So once you get that mix, we're gonna put it into here. Okay. You can use this to scrape it to get all that chocolate because you don't want to leave any chocolate behind. No. Right? All of the chocolate needs to go into this. 
put these three in. Okay. Everything but the marshmallows. And what are these three? This is the graham crackers, mm -hmm. the flour, okay, the baking powder, mm -hmm. powder not soda, and salt. I always stress that because there's a difference. And repetition's sure. good. Yes. Remember, I can't cook. Stir. That's the point of this. Stir. All right. Stir. 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 Telling me what to do. That's right. All right. Sure, it's scraped off the right, side right. and the floor, as our friend always, his friend's son always says. The floor. So he's better cooked um, than I am. No, he's, he's only like five. Five. Well, that's about my <laughs> skill level. Oh gosh. Um, no, you're 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 above five now. I am. I think you started off at five. <laughs> oh, God. oh great. I'm gonna you hear. Know, about I'm going to stop stirring. I'm gonna hear about this later. So this looks pretty good. So we're gonna put these in. Mm -hmm. And now stir I, those in. Okay. But again, gently sort of folding, stirring. Now you want turning. me to be gentle. Yes. So all you're looking to do is make sure that the marshmallows are covered with oh, the okay. chocolate mixture. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this if that's okay. With yeah, you. that's awesome. Uh, just to show the folks at home. Yeah, you have the technique. Um, so I just sort of try to get you know into the corners. The reason I'm trying to be gentle with this now is you don't want to disturb the crust too much mm. and uh, it smells amazing yeah like it's almost too much to bear <laughs> <laughs> yeah again this is some steps involved i get That's it so good but when they're done it really is worth it yeah they're tasty so and see it does it's, it kinda does it's it naturally itself. going mm -hmm. but to just sort of but just so gen shiny. gently you want to get this into the corners without disturbing the crust. And if you disturb the crust a little bit, that's okay. You know what? It's all going to bake together and be covered up, so no one's going to ever know. So, and the marshmallows mostly dissolve in this. Mm -hmm. I did it for the effect of having the marshmallows in. When it comes out of the oven, it's kind of funny. It's kind of all bubbled up with mm -hmm. the marshmallows. So this looks good. Cool. So again, into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. We'll show you what that looks like. And we'll get to the next step. It's toothpick time. Let's test the brownies. So, full disclaimer, I did test them at 30 minutes. See the little hole there? And they were a little bit wet. So, we're going to go back in near there and test. And that's pretty clean. See, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little tiny bit. That's okay. There's a little tiny bit of... of, of. I need to check a few places. These are going to get iced, so you're never going to see that. So that's good. A couple of wet pieces of brownie are good, but you just don't want to see full batter. That's it. We're going to cool these to room temperature and ice them. These have cooled. It's time to make some icing. It is. The next step. I did take a knife and ran it around the edges, mm -hmm. just very gently so you don't... Crack these, disturb these. No, just... I could just put a fork right in there and eat that. It's a great big <laughs> you brownie. Could, you could stop. This is a brownie, you know. Done. So I've gone through a couple times. You can feel it kind of moving, which is good. That means it's going to come undone. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. 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 And this is the powdered sugar. We melted the chocolate, mm -hmm. the bitter chocolate, with the shortening. Mm -hmm. Over very, very low heat over a stove. So, uh, you want to scrape that and put that okay. in there. Mm -hmm. While he's doing that, another unscientific measurement of vanilla. There's not much left in here. So, a half a teaspoon or so. You know, we'll just finish this bottle. Why not? Why not? So, that was about a half teaspoon, though. It really wasn't much more than that. Uh, a pinch of salt. So, we're just going to put a little in our hand. Salt and chocolate go very well together. So, a little pinch of salt. I have, hidden behind the brownies, a fourth of a cup of milk. You can start mixing okay. it. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's done. I do. So just mix that together. It's not going to look like much. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably going to get a little stiff, which is why we have the milk. Mm -hmm. This is a fourth of a cup. You're going to need between two or four tablespoons. A fourth of a cup is four tablespoons. Somewhere in that range to, um, uh, to make it into an icing. So it's a judgment call. Chocolate could be different. The powdered sugar could be different. Um, so that's looking. <laughs> this is not easy. A little stiff. So you know, we're, we're, we're going to put some milk in. We're put a little milk in. I'm going to put about half of that in. So just stir it. If you need the whisk, eventually. 
a little tougher than it looked. I know, say. I know. It's it's weird, but it all will come together and make an icing. But it looks like icing now. Yay! Oh, he See? was right. It did happen. You, I told you it would happen. So and I got it started. So that's right. Good. So you just want to mix it until its consistency mm -hmm. is good. Um, you know, it shouldn't be runny. It should hold its shape. That looks right. Um, yeah. And it's going to um, solidify, you know, harden a little bit as it cools. And it's delicious. So, what's chocolate? What's not to love? I mean, if you like chocolate. I love chocolate. So that's done. The way that goes. Don't need so the milk, milk you only use as much as you need to make it. Right. So it's right. kind of a judgment call. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit, um, you know. So I'm going to put some of this in the corners mm -hmm. because, again, you're trying not to upset this, although you are icing it. So. And this is not, we're not done yet. We're going to do the marshmallow topping after this. It so just keeps coming, There are folks. steps to this. I agree. I know. I'm sorry. I made this a little difficult. No, but you did not. It's not difficult. It's actually... It's uh, fun. It's, uh... It, when it, when There's it's a lot done, to it. Yeah, I and mean, this is great if you have children. They can get in and help you. Hey, you know what I've learned is, like, when I eat something like this now out in the world, and I, you know, someone else makes it or we order it somewhere, I appreciate the different levels and the time it took to make something that like just you put on a plate and give to someone you're like wow right. this actually took right. some time Oops, I got a little carried away so there. i yeah, appreciate that yeah now. absolutely absolutely so you just want to spread this to the edges in a thin layer now i will say this is not a lot of icing mm -hmm. if you want you could double this and make double the icing i like it kind of thin though so yeah i mean there's enough chocolate in here mm -hmm. so uh, i'll let you do the other okay half. So just spread it out thinly, mm -hmm. and we're going to show you next how to do the marshmallow topping. This should sit for a little while until it gets a little bit firmer. Otherwise, when the hot marshmallow goes on, it kind of melts into it, which is okay because we still have another layer, the graham cracker crumbs, which if it does that, we can cover it up with that, and no one will ever know. <laughs> we're almost there. Marshmallow topping time. Let's go back to the stove. This is one and three quarters cups of mini marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Just a little tablespoon of water. Let's just eat that. To help things along. You can if you want. So you're just going to start stirring. You'll see the water in the bottom. It looks a little milky. I have this on like a medium heat, kind of low, not too high. So eventually these will start to melt mm -hmm. all together. And we're going to have a little marshmallow topping. I see it happening. Yep, yeah, it's yeah. starting. Everything's starting to come together. You so tell the truth again. I always tell the truth. So we're going to come back in a minute and show you what this looks like. As you can see, this is all melted, and you need to work quickly at this point. So heat is going off. I'm bringing over my handy-dandy offset spatula. Can you back up, Sean? Yeah. We're going to bring these back over. These have cooled. This is hardened, pretty much. You may see some swirling, and that's okay. You can either leave it as a design, or, mm -hmm. as you know, we're going to cover this up with graham crackers. So, you want to just pour this oh, on top. Look at you. It looks like Christmas. See, now it's going to start getting sticky in the pan, mm -hmm. and that's okay. It rinses out very easily, by the way. I found that out. So, you just want to get as much of you can, as much as you can of that out, and then just see we're leaving this for the pro to do get this to the edge this was all experimental believe me so just smooth it to the edge this is our let's see that's yeah. going to happen and that's okay it's very zen yes it is but you want to work quickly so no quickly, time for zen quickly zen quickly zen so just try and get to the edge as much as you can when that happens again, we're going to cover this up with mm -hmm. the graham crackers. Once again, the smell is amazing. So, whoops, that really got there. It smells like childhood. It's the hot of the marshmallow melting the chocolate. But again, it's all going to cool down, firm up. Mm -hmm. So, we got that. Mm -hmm. And we have our graham crackers. And again, you can use as much or as little as you want. Mm -hmm. You can cover up your little mistakes there. Or not mistakes. Happy mistakes. 
happy occurrences. So again, you can sprinkle this on as much or as little as you want. That's why I did a bunch. So we have them. I actually put a lot on. And you can make a little pattern. You can cover the whole thing if you want. I like to leave some of the marshmallows showing through. Oops. But again, you can go back and cover up the chocolate or leave the chocolate as your design. That's so up to you. Could you put rainbow sprinkles on here? If you you could to. put on whatever you want. We're going to get this little mound out of the way. See what I just did. Oh, boy. So more goes on top of that. So you can smash that down a little bit. No one's ever going to know. No. So that's it. S'mores brownies. We're going to let these cool for a little bit and set the marshmallow topping. Here we go. It's firmed up a little bit, but as you see, it's still a little bit gooey, and it will stay a little bit gooey. So you can cut these as large or as small as you want. As we said, we've already gone around the mm -hmm. um, right. perimeter. Edges. The edge. Um, so I'm just going to cut these into... This actually has a little more bite than eight, that. 12. Let's do 12. Than I expected it to have. Meaning... It's, it's got a little resistance going on there. It's, yeah. It's firmed up. So. It has. It mm -hmm. has. It's firmed up. So, full disclosure, I'm not the best at cutting these. You're doing a great job. I'm really not. I've never been good at that. My sizes are always lopsided, so I'm going to do that. So, yeah. Just put yeah, this works. over here. The first one, getting it out, is always the worst. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go for this middle section one and just hope that went great. great. And as you can see in the bottom, oh my gosh, I have to lick my fingers. Um, well, look at that. The crust didn't stick. Now, sometimes it might a little bit, and that's okay. Yeah. Um, so, oh my gosh, look at it, it's all in one piece. Yep. Yay. There's your layers of... So good. Layers. Yep, layers. S'mores. Brownies. There's icing, there's brownie, there's crust, there's stuff on top. Everything oh, wow. you could this is, possibly this good. want. Mm. Mm. And they're still not... They're still a little warm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. I have a problem. They're still a little bit warm, mm. which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Um, oh wow. Mm. That turned out great. I'm very proud of this. You should um, be. Thank you. It's good. You helped. You've been eating me for two months. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. It really is good. Thank you for watching. Yes. Please subscribe below. We appreciate that. Comments are always welcome. Watch us on, find us on Facebook, YouTube, which you're watching, and Instagram, Sean Can Cook with John Can. We hope you enjoy these s'mores brownies. It's kind of a little um, campfire treat um, without having to start a fire. So that's good. <laughs> so good. So thank you for watching. We appreciate that. We will see you next time, and we're going to finish this pan soon. <laughs> Make these. Yes. See you next time.